Could be a quick one tonight. Uh, so we're going to start with uh, public comment. Is there anybody here that has anything to say uh, that has that's not specifically in regard to the, the hearing tonight? No? Okay. So the first hearing we have set for tonight is scheduled for 7 o'clock. Site plan for a wireless service panels at Smith College Helen Hills Chapel, 115 to 123 Elm Street, Northampton Map ID 31B-193. So. Hello, thanks for having me. Um, is the spot good? Yep. Um, I'm Brian Allen, KJK Wireless, uh, here for New Singular Wireless PCS LLC, otherwise known as AT&T. Um, we are looking to provide more coverage in this area, downtown Smith College. Um, trying to make it best possible, new site, well, wireless site. Uh, we came across a couple of rooftops I played with and we ended up coming up with a plan to go inside uh, the church at the Helen Hills Chapel. Uh, basically what we're looking to do is there's uh, louvered panels. Um, near the top of the steeple. I don't know what you have. I brought my PowerPoint, but it's not much to it. Um, essentially, we have a church, and we have louvers on a couple of the sides, which there are four, four sides worth of louvers. We're only gonna put antennas behind three of them because we only go in three directions. But essentially, what we do is we take the louver, which is probably you know, looks like a rectangle, probably six feet high by two feet wide, and we take that out as a panel, like so. So we just take out the panel, and then we make a new one that matches exactly out of this fun resin fiberglass with white on the front. So we can make it any style, any color, and it looks exactly like what we take out. So they go up there, they take lots and lots of photos, they send it out, they manufacture this in a shop, probably in New Hampshire, last time we did it. And they come in on the day that they do it, take them out, pop the new ones in, just like replacing a placement window. And then when you stick it into the hole, it'll screw in from the back, you know, here are 10 things. And then behind that, we will mount our antennas. So they're all hidden inside the church. We have some little boxes that look like VCRs. They're up there, run some wires down. Uh, generally, we put a building outside, but uh, we work with Smith College, and we're gonna run a trench under to the next building over, uh, which is a little two or three story apartment building. And we're carving out a room in the basement. We're gonna put all of our equipment in the basement. So, it's not as clean as. Well, it doesn't shoot through the wood. So, we need the fiberglass instead of the wood. And also, they never have to paint them yet. So, they actually have a lot of people who have. Sometimes we'll take the whole steeple off, if it's a wood steeple, and just make a steeple out of this, come with a crane and drop it in. But that's, that's not what's happening here. This is just four sets of loopers. How much does it matter to. I'm sorry, let me ask how much does it matter to you how high the antennas are? Um, this is about as low as we can be. Um, we we do run the coverage spots and stuff, and this is going to cover that that spot we have. T-Mobile's across the street on the Episcopal Church; they're up a little higher, but it works with our network to get the coverage. And so the third, the fourth side that you're not covering is back towards Round Two. Well, it's not so much that we're not covering. Uh, what we do when we design a network, we to create the circle, we use three points. Three points make a better circle than four. So all the towers that you see, a tower or a rooftop, they're just designed in three different sections. Thank so. you. Got it. So did you have to go before the Elm Street restaurant? I'll be there on Monday, six o'clock. And you're going to have battery backup or generator? Um, we have a certain amount of battery backup, and then we have a plug for a generator. 
So if it goes beyond the battery thing, when the power goes out and we know, then the guys will go to Taylor Rental, pick up a big generator, plug it in, plug it in. But generally speaking, most outages will be fine with the batteries because the batteries, what most of the ones I, I know about are six to eight hours running full time and no, no cell site ever runs full. So you probably can get a day or two and nothing, nobody ever uses it at night. So the other, we can usually go without bringing a generator. That's why you know, normally on a site like this, we would bring a generator in, but we feel we can get the access if it's close enough to a main road, we can get a generator in there in plenty of time to keep the site live in case of a, a major disaster where you actually wanted self service. Repeaters, could that have worked instead, instead of calling the engine? Uh, we didn't have good enough coverage in the area to run repeater sites. Uh, and typically, the, the new technology that we're using, the LTE, that you may hear about, uh, it doesn't broadcast this far. So we need to get those sites in first before we can use any repeaters. Once we have this site up, we'll probably work with Smith College to make sure their buildings in building coverage in some of the basements, like the library, it's kind of a robust building. Yeah. Uh, if we need more, because uh, we are you know, we are close, but sometimes the buildings don't leave themselves to penetration, uh, then we can work on that as the next phase. But this will cover all the outside areas and many of the, of the areas with, with windows. Like a, a room like this, it would have coverage. Right? Uh, just the basement. Do you know how sparse their coverage is on campus? Do you know where they're really worried about I mean, That's one of their incentives for doing this. Well, yeah, they, you know, they, their incentives are, you know, financial because we pay them, right. and they want to have coverage for the students because that's something the students want. Right. Uh, you know, I've done a couple sites on uh, Mount Holyoke on their library. The colleges really like to have the service because the kids are the ones on the cutting edge using the, you know, the 4G stuff, the streaming video. Some of the professors even use some of that stuff in their classes and interactive stuff. I don't, that was beyond that. We barely had computers when I went to school. But, um, you know, it, it, it's something that they'd like to have. Uh, and they are, you know, in this general area, the largest landowner. And what will their income be for this? I, I'm not allowed to disclose that. If they choose to share it, they're welcome to. And, uh, you know, we're currently, Any other questions? Um, we've looked at a number of these on, on the hospital and different towers right, just throughout town. I chance to get an education. I, I yeah. Think <laughs> yeah. yeah. About right, right. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's thinking of renting out the top floor of her house. <laughs> yeah, I really am fascinated by the fiberglass. Yeah, this is yeah. this is great stuff. Um, one I did recently, which was really fantastic, in Keene, New Hampshire, they have a smokestack, and we just added 10 feet of smokestack made out of this stuff. And you can't tell. And the antennas are inside, all the wires go down inside the smokestack into the basement of the building. And how much room do you need to run the, the ground? The ground equipment, yeah. we're, we typically like to get uh, 240 square feet. Uh, we start with a smaller footprint, but what happens is as technology changes, we bring in the new stuff and we're not allowed to take the old stuff out. So we kind of expand and then contract. And all the newer stuff that I've seen, I've been doing this for about 10 years, it keeps getting smaller. Right. So especially the indoor stuff, because we can air condition, so we can have small, it's like you know, taking out the eight track and the turntable and replacing with the CD and the DVD player. So that's kind of the, tech, I don't know what comes next, but these radios, you know, we're doing one, we run everything in DC power now. Uh, we, two years ago, we couldn't have built this site just because of the cabling required. Mm -hmm. We would bring, we would have brought up 18 inch and 5 eighths inch cables from the ground equipment up to the antennas. Now we do it in fiber. And we do one fiber cable about the size of my finger and two more power ones. And that's, right. instead of 18, Right. Inch and five eighths cables, which you can't bend, you know, turn the right. little fibers, you just trench under, you pull them through, and they run everything off DC, so it's, it's fantastic. Good deal. Okay. Um, public comment? No? <laughs> <laughs>
close the public hearing. Second. Second. All favor. Any discussion? There's a John Fine song. We heard nobody. We heard no one. Something like that. That's what I feel about yeah. this. You can't see it. Don't know it's there. I don't love the idea of replacing historical structures with other materials, but I right. like the fact that it's hidden. Right. Um, and historical will have to. Right. Right. They're going to wait into it. Right. Well, I mean, seeing as how the columns on the front of Ellen Hill Hill Chapel is <laughs> is fake anyway, <laughs> I don't see why they could complain. There's only two. They're uh, fake. Mm -hmm. They're fake? Well, they're not whatever they used to make columns out of. They're steel. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you're getting the I move that we uh, approve the site plan for wireless service panels at Smith College, Helen Hills, Hills Chapel, 115 123 Elm Street, Northampton, Map, ID 31B 193. Second. Second. Discussion? In favor? Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. She's expired. What? Devin, you your um, interim <laughs> term <laughs> has expired. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> Her interim so coverage of Catherine's seat on CBC is expired. So, um, um, so if you want to re up Devin's. Um, slot on CBC, then you guys officially need to vote. Then I sent it to the mayor's office, and it goes to the office. I don't know if I can get out. But I was notified that uh, the term had expired. Okay. I thought we volunteered. We have to vote for. We have to nominate. Yeah, you have to nominate. I don't remember doing that. Please feel free to nominate. Oh no. <laughs> Please feel free to replace my seat on transportation. Oh no. We're supposed. To. That was supposed right. to have been that. Because you know why? Because we still don't have any membership. Yeah, and I, you know that's one of those where I'm my own worst enemy. I mean, I, I feel like I, I do know something about that. Right. But mostly I feel bootstrapping my way up on those things that go on. And then. So, we need a nomination for Devin. I so nominate. Oh, I'll, I'll second the nomination. All in favor? It's unanimous. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Devin. You're welcome. Sorry about you expiring. That's <laughs> one, yeah, that's one of the no, we've just renewed her. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I feel good about that work. Okay. She's coming back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She looks better already. <laughs> it's because I got to go swimming today. Nice. Yeah, I know. You're pushing that one. <laughs> um, not, no, nothing. I don't have minutes. I was working on those for the last meeting, and I didn't quite get to it. So your next meeting is the 25th of July. I don't I know that was. we have anything yet, but I think at Wood Drive might be coming in. I'm going to miss that one. I thought we had What's that? What's that? What's on that? What's that Wood Drive? The next phase for the build out. Whether they want a new one. Uh, you know, the uh, medical office building. Oh, and then they're going to do another well, set of buildings. The last couple of years have chosen the yeah, chosen the new one. There may be no round one in the building, but I didn't think you picked it early. The two weeks. Nothing. Yes, that's going to, we need to schedule a public hearing for that, so that, in fact, might be on that same day, the actual official public hearing I need to get with David Murphy on that to schedule. If I were them, I would. And actually, they may, you guys may not be able to do it the same day, so you might go ahead with yours, and they might have a separate one. I think it might end up being that way for this one. There's no meeting on July 11th. That's what I have it. We do you guys decide on the 25th. That's, that's my big yeah, and then the 22nd of August, I think, is the fourth. Yeah. One too. I can make both of those. I'll check the 25th. Unless I expire. Careful. Yeah. I mean, Jen's going to have to come. What, I yeah, think I might be out. Oh, because that's check. such a problem. Well, when you okay. said both of those, what do you mean? July 25th and <coughs> August 22nd? Right. It was the fourth. It was either, fourth. yeah, we chose the fourth of each month. Okay. The fourth Thursday. Yeah, she calls. She comes over and says, "Yeah, she wanted to know why we were meeting this ridiculous." And then I told her, "Okay." He's like, "But it's the same thing with planning board. Like, you don't mess that up, do you?" Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Huh. 
Because it's technically. Some are difficult, but aren't we all? No, it's the third and fifth, but they change it around. So they don't yeah, this is well, Carla, Carla had a conflict. There is. So she couldn't come. And oh, I told her she did, didn't make sense. But Dave and I both went to one. And yes. recently was out. And then, we're, but we're down now. So that's two. What about John? John, was, John missed last meeting, too. Right. He had some other um, work meeting or something. Any any not anything in the hopper? Anyone in the hopper? Not really at all. And haven't seen it on council agenda, so I I haven't been looking for it because I uh, there's that all variety thing, thing that my right. right. mayor visit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'd like to move make a motion to adjourn. All in favor? We kept that easy. The, the only thing I.